Okay. <laughs> All right. Hello. We, I'm back again because I had to stop our last, I, I stopped about 10 minutes ago because of the internet connection. I unplugged everything, plugged it back in, and I see green, and the green hasn't moved, so I hope, green, so on my software, um, so on my software, I can see the, the, the stats, like how the internet connection is working, how's the sound working, so I see the controls, right? And when it's green, everything is okay. But then it'll go orange, yellow, red, and that means the internet connection is not working so well. But right now it's been solid green, so <laughs> I hope by unplugging everything, resetting everything, that now we are okay. Thank you for, thank you everyone for, for being patient, for coming back. Um, it, it's really discouraging when um, there is technical difficulties, right? Where you plan something, um, you guys take time from your busy day to come and see me, and then when there's a bad connection or technical problems, it's really frustrating for me and for you. So today was a very frustrating time for me, but um, I hope everything is okay. You never know with, with um, technology, right? You never know. We, are, we live and die by technology, yeah? So I'm here with you because of technology, and we can also have problems because of technology. So, hey, Floor is in the house. Hey, Floor. Okay, good, good. Okay, so I think we're okay now. Okay, good. Lolly, or, uh, Mrs. G says she can hear me loud and clear. And um, okay, I'm really happy. So let's go ahead and woohoo. Okay, so oh, that was stressful. That was very stressful for me. And um, so I'm always worried about, I want to do a good job. I want, I want everything to go smoothly, right? So when things do not go smoothly, I, I get upset, I get frustrated, I get sad. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I think we're, we're okay now, and let's go ahead, and what's going to happen on YouTube, there's going to be two videos, right? So uh, on the thumbnail, I said reconnected. So, so we have our same theme, but now it's going to be a separate video, and this video is called reconnected. <laughs> okay, so we are reconnected together. We are back together again. So now I'm happy. I'm happy to see you guys. You guys are so wonderful. Mm, I love you all. Like you, you when, when things were bad, you were here. And then um, when I had to stop and then I came back, you are back here with me again. I am so, I'm so lucky to have you guys. So you, you're the best. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate your kind support for, for sticking with me for the good and the bad, right? So there's a lot of bad, so I'm sorry about the bad, right? There's, there's my mistakes, which is bad. There's sometimes the internet connection goes bad. Sometimes <laughs> the lesson goes bad, and sometimes it goes good, but um, sometimes it goes bad. And so thank you for being here with me for the bad, right? So um, it's easy when everything's good, right? There's no problems, but when, when things go bad and you're still with me, that's that is really special. So thank you so much. I love you. And I will not talk like this anymore because it gets boring, right? Okay, let's have, let's have a, a real quick um, uh, toast. Yeah, here's to you. You guys are wonderful. You are the best. Cheers, everyone. Fist bump, cheers, fist bump. I, I'm, I feel very lucky to be here with you. I am. I'm truly lucky. Okay. All right, WX, right now it is 11.15 here in Japan, AM. Yeah, the internet has not COVID. <laughs> Wait, the internet has COVID? No, 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 no. We're okay, the, the connection, the internet. It was my equipment, right? So the modem, sometimes you have to um, reset everything. So this was the time I had to reset. So anyways, 
I'm feeling good because you guys are here and you're with me for the bad and now we're reconnected and it looks good. So woohoo, I'm feeling very good. I'm very happy. Okay, well, let we, we did dictation cards, right? We, we did the dictation cards, right? We did these. So um, we didn't do, we didn't do it by yourself, right? So I want you to do it by yourself. Well, for, for people coming new, okay? So people just coming now, we, we did this. We had a bad connection, so we did about maybe 50 minutes, and then I had to stop the live stream to reset everything, and now I'm back again, but we did this. We did a, a pattern, did simple past tense, and the theme was in the morning. So you guys made sentences, for example, um, did you have breakfast in the morning? Did you make your bed this morning? Did you have a good morning? Did you have a smoothie this morning, right? And this morning, we, we're talking about today, right? So today, this morning, for example, did you make your bed this morning, today? If we're talking about generally, any time in the morning, any morning, any morning, right? And we're talking about the past, right? So here, did is in the simple past. So any time in the past, we, we use um, in the morning, right? So for example, do you make your bed in the morning? So that could be any time in the morning. Do you do that, right? So actually, sorry, sorry, sorry. Any time, we, we do not use the past, okay? We do not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So did is, is already finished, right? Past, we did it. It's over. So did you make your bed this morning, right? So, so that was maybe a few hours ago. It's over, right? But if we use any time, any morning, right, in general terms, we do not use the past. We use the um, simple present, do, okay? Do you make your bed in the morning? Okay, that could be any morning. So we did that, and we did um, some shadowing, and um, we did some dictation. So right now, we're going to do these cards again, but you're going to do it on your own, by yourself, okay? So what I have here, I have eight cards. Oh, I drank all my coffee. Oh, no, Tomas, you should make some more coffee, Tomas. You need to make some more coffee. Okay, um, now let's do it on your own, okay? You're going to do it yourself, and but actually, we're going to take turns, okay? I will say it, then you will say it. I will say it, <coughs> then you will say it, okay? So I have, I have a, a card right here, and I'm going to cover the, the sentence. So you're going to say the sentence based on the picture. Based on the picture, you will say the sentence, okay? But we will take turns, okay? I will say it, then you will say it. I will say it, then you will say it. In the morning, routine, yeah, okay, good. So sometimes I look at the comments, right? Sometimes I, I should do it more, but... I like talking to you in the camera, right? I, so when I'm making eye contact, I cannot see the comments, right? I cannot see what you're writing. Sometimes I, ha I look down, right? Sometimes I don't. So right now I just look down and there's uh, Dr. Ameris just said um, in the morning, routine. Yeah, so uh, like general, yeah, mm, in the morning. Yeah, it could be routine, right? Like um, if we say like always, right? Dr. Ramirez, we say, I always make my bed in the morning. That's a routine. Um, if we say, I rarely make my bed in the morning, that's not a routine, right? Routine is something you do daily or um, habitually, like you have a habit, right? So you might um, exercise. So that will be a routine. So um, every morning, or I, I always exercise in the morning, right? So that's a routine. I always make coffee in the morning. That's a routine. I always have breakfast. That's a routine. So I said always, right? So that's a routine. If we, if we start, I usually could be routine, right? So maybe sometimes you, once in a while, you, you don't do it, right? But if you usually, I usually exercise in the morning. That's a routine. 
But when we get to like sometimes that's like 50%. So then that becomes less of a routine, right? That becomes mm, not such a routine, right? Sometimes, rarely, never, right? Never is not a routine. I never make the bed in the morning. That is not a routine. <laughs> okay, good, good. Monk is in the house. Okay, great. Good to see Monk. Mwah. Okay, and let's do it, okay? So let's um, s practice these um, sentences. Oh, Lolly, I just looked at the, at the comments down here. Lolly says, I rarely have breakfast in the morning. So that's not a routine. So, so Lolly usually doesn't have breakfast, right? She rarely has breakfast, but she usually doesn't have breakfast, right? Okay, good, good, good. Tetsuro says, should we use in the morning in the present tense? Yes. 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 So do you make the bed in the morning? Yeah, yeah, good, good. Right. So did you make the bed this morning? Did you make the bed um, yesterday morning? Did you make the bed last week? Let's see. Did you make the bed last week? Okay, but when we start going back, we don't need in the morning because it's implied, right, actually. So if you say, um, did you make the bed last week, right? I mean, we implied that's in the morning. It, it doesn't sound so natural saying, uh, did you make the bed in the morning last week? That, that's not so natural. That doesn't sound very natural, right? So we'd say, oh, hey, did you make the bed last week? Um, so, but when we, usually when we talk about routines, you know, like morning routines, making breakfast, uh, making the bed, things like that, we don't really go f m really that far in the past, right? We might go, did you make the bed um, yesterday morning? We can do that, right? But then we don't really go further than that. So usually uh, daily routines are um, in, the, in, the, in the present, right? Anytime. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, let's go ahead and let's say these cards, okay? So let's do these together. I will say it, then you will say it. I will say it, then you will say it, okay? I have a card right here and I will cover the... I will cover it for you. I will not cover it for myself. Okay, here we go. Not eating causes dizzy, dizziness. Okay, now it's your turn. Not eating causes dizziness. Not eating causes dizziness. Not eating causes dizziness. Floor, I drink coffee with milk in the morning. Yeah, perfect, Floor. Perfect sentence. Okay, here we go. Not enough sleep causes a headache. Now it's your turn. Not enough sleep causes a headache. Not enough sleep causes a headache. Not enough sleep causes a headache. Did I make the bed yesterday? Yes, I make the bed every morning. <laughs> yes, Maria. I always, I always, Marie, sorry, Marie. I always make the bed. Yes, yes, it's, it's my job. <laughs> I don't, actually, I don't do a lot of housework. Sorry. But um, the housework I do do, my job is to make the bed in the morning and do the dishes. And other than that, my wife does everything else. <laughs> so I, my job is to make the bed and wash the dishes. That's my job. That's my household chores. Okay, here we go. 
Cold weather causes a runny nose. 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 Getting soaked in the rain causes the chills. 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 Yeah, the chills, that's bad. Don't want to get the chills. That's bad. Okay, here we go. Card number five here. Dry weather causes a sore throat. 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 Okay, Helga, if the mother says you were not making your bed all last week, um, no, Helga, it's better to say you didn't make your bed all last week. Okay, so that's a good, okay, so it's better to say, okay, you were not making your bed all last week. That, that, that's, that sounds a little strange or it's not so natural. It's better to say, Helga, you didn't make your bed all last week. You didn't make your bed all last week. Okay, here's our next card. This is card number six. Not drinking enough water causes dry skin. 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 You didn't make your bed all last week. Perfect, Helga. Perfect. Okay, card number seven. Not flossing causes tooth decay. Oops. Not flossing causes tooth decay. 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 Oh, don't, don't get a cavity. That's not good. That's not good. All right. This is our last card, number eight. Last card. Not stretching causes tight muscles. 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 
Okay, good, good, good. We did it. Yeah. Oh, finally. Okay, okay. Good job, everyone. Well done. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Yeah, I need to stretch more. I, I, I don't stretch. I, I need to do that because I've noticed as the older I get, the tighter my muscles get. So I need to stretch. Yes, I do. <laughs> I need to stretch more. I hope you guys stretch. Um, stretching is really good for your body. Here, what am I doing? I'm telling you guys you should stretch, but I, I don't. So I shouldn't say that because I, I, what we say is practice what you preach. Practice what you preach, right? So if you say, okay, so I can say you should have breakfast every morning. You should have a healthy breakfast every morning to start your day, right? I can say that because I do that. Every morning I have oatmeal and in my oatmeal I put blueberries in my oatmeal. Never sugar. So oatmeal, there's no sugar, right? Just plain oatmeal. So I put blueberries in there. I put nuts and seeds in there. I put some Let's see, I put chia seeds in there. I put bananas in my, in my oatmeal. I put some granola in my oatmeal. And I put fiber in my oatmeal. So, so I think that's a really good breakfast. So I can say that, right? You should have a healthy breakfast every morning because I do that, right? So I'm... I'm practicing what I preach, right? So preaching is um, to talk like an authority, authoritarian way, or not authoritarian, but like authority, right? Preach, like you should do this, you should do that, right? So I'm, I'm telling you to do something, right? So I'm preaching to you. And so I'm saying, you should do this. And here I said, you should stretch, right? For health, but I don't stretch very much, so I can't say that because I don't do that. So, so you must practice what you preach. So I'm not going to say that anymore. <laughs> Lolly, practice what you preach. Yes. So we say also, like, um, don't throw stones if you live in a glass house. Or people who live in a glass house shouldn't throw stones, right? So throwing a stone is right like a rock and you throw it at somebody and if you throw it at somebody you can hurt them right so if you're saying um so, so if you're saying bad things or you're saying rumors about people if you're talking about other people but then you live in a glass house that means if someone throws a stone at you it can break right your house will break come down so be careful for what, you know, what you say. Be careful what you, you say to other people. Be careful what you say about other people because it could come back to you and hurt you, right? So people who live in a glass house shouldn't throw stones. Okay. Dora, my breakfast for today, milk with banana and almond. Perfect, yeah. Nice, nice, Dora. Yeah, so... Nuts and fruit are great, great for your health, great way to start your day. Fruits and nuts, yeah. Okay, now let's do uh, Lolly's Revenge. Let's do Lolly's Revenge. Let's get right to it today, okay? Because we had some technical difficulties today, this morning. This morning, right? Today, this morning, earlier, we had, I had technical difficulties, okay? So I'm going to get right to Lolly's Revenge, all right? Lolly's Revenge is a conversation between Joe and Sue, Joe and Sue, and there are four steps. Step one, <coughs> sorry, I will read the conversation. You will listen carefully because, oh, let me write this on the board. Let me write this on the board. I took a picture of this, so everything's okay. 
If you go to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, you can check out all the whiteboards there. So I took a picture already, so I'm going to erase it because I want to explain Lolly's Revenge to you. Okay, for some of you, most of you know this already because you're here with me every week, but there's always new people coming. And thank you for coming. So it's, you know, you want, you want your usual people, right? You want your, your, your supporters. You want your, your, your gang, right? You want your, your, your usual suspects every week, right? Because they're the supporters. They know you. You know them, right? So that, that keeps the, the lesson fresh. Well, it keeps the, fre the, the lesson um, friendly and warm because everyone knows each other. But we also need new people coming in, right? So um, to keep the, you know, the new people coming in keeps everything fresh, keeps everything rolling, right? So every, every week there's new people, so I'm happy about that. I welcome the new people. And so I, I always explain our activities for, for you, for the new people, right? For the usual people here every week, you, are, you already know the steps. You know what to do. You know um, the routine, right? Well, for the new people, they don't know the routine. They don't know these activities. So I always explain this for the new people, yeah? So we're going to do Lolly's Revenge. And I'm going to tell you. I'm going to write it on the board, our steps. The steps for the activity, okay? So step one, step one, step one, I'm going to read the conversation, okay? So here's the conversation, and I will read it to you. And if, <coughs> if, if you want me to read it again, right? One time's not enough. If you want me to read it again, you say OMT, OMT. That means one more time, one more time. If you want me to read it slower, you go MS. That is more slowly. If you got it, you know it, you're ready for step two, you say LT, that is last time. Then that will be the last time I read it. Then we will go to step two. Step two is QT. QT is question time. There are four questions. I will read these questions to you. I will tell you, or I will ask you these questions. Then you will tell me the answer. This way, I'm checking your comprehension. How well did you understand the conversation? How, how much of it did you understand? How much of it you didn't you understand, right? So QT, question time. Then after we do question time, we will do step three. Step three, and that is reading. Okay? I, we will read the conversation together. I will um, show you the conversation, and we will read it together. And here, step one and two, you're not seeing the conversation, right? You're just listening. So maybe some of it you didn't understand. So by reading it, reading the conversation, you will see the words you will see the sentences, and you will understand more, all right? Then step four. Step four is shadowing. Okay, shadowing is speaking, right? But at the same time as I am. You're not repeating after me. You are speaking at the same time, right? So a shadow moves wherever you move, right? So here is my arm. There's my shadow. And so as my arm goes up, the shadow goes up. I go down, my shadow goes down. So my shadow is moving at the same time as I am. So you will be my shadow. You will speak at the same time, okay? So it's a challenge, but it's good for you, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Yeah, Tomas, I had some technical. Thank you for, for sharing that. Oh, Dr. Ramirez, don't throw stones if you have a glass house. Yeah. Exactly. 
because what you do to other people, it will come back to you, right? And, and that's like, if you're nice, people will be nice to you, right? So, so um, be kind to others so others will be kind to you, right? So, or like we also say karma, right? Karma, if you do good things, good things come to you. If you do bad things, bad things come to you, right? So that's karma. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Lolly's Revenge. This is Joe. Please say hello to Joe. Hello, Joe. This is Lolly. Say hello. No, not Lolly. <laughs> not Lolly. Sue. This is Sue. Please say hello to Sue. Hi, Joe. Hi, Sue. Okay, here we go. Joe is first. Joe is first. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, good, Helga. I think shadow, shadowing is a good thing to do, and especially in this circumstances, in this situation, right, on YouTube. So we're not face-to-face. Well, we're not face-to-face, -face, right? We are distance. We, we are doing distance learning, right? So for this type of learning, shadowing is great. Listening is great. Um, dictation is great, right? So we're doing all the things all the good things that we can do in this situation. Of course, if we were together, face to face, we can touch each other. I can, I can hear you, you can hear me. Then we would do different activities. We still do these, right? These are good, but we would do other ones too. But because of our situation, we're doing these activities. Yeah, Sewu, you're back. <laughs> Sewu. So I fixed the problem. So mwah, happy birthday again, Seiru. So I had internet problems, and um, I I discon I reset my internet. So I the modem, the wh which um, brings in the internet to my office, right? So so the internet comes from outside, and the modem brings it inside, and so I turned it off and I turned it on. I disconnected the, the wires, so I reset everything, and now everything is A-OK, -okay. A-OK. -okay. So, so I'm back again, Sewu. I'm happy you're back. Mwah. One more time, happy birthday. Okay, here we go. We are doing Lolly's Revenge. Joe is first. Here we go. Sue, so, I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Wow. When can we use it? It's good till next month. Where can we stay? At any Holiday Inn. Let's do it. Where do you want to go? How about close to a beach? I think a nice mountain view would be nice. Let's draw straws. I have the short one. Looks like we're going to the mountains. <laughs> uh oh. Hold on. There's a, a, a typo. Should be, be, it says bench. No, no, not bench, beach. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's do it again, yeah? One more time. Once is not enough. Here we go. Here we go. Sue. I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Wow, when can we use it? It's good till next month. Where can we stay? At any Holiday Inn. Let's do it. Where do you want to go? How about close to a beach? I think a nice mountain view would be nice. Let's draw straws. I have the short one. Looks like we're going to the mountains. <laughs> the lesson must go on. That's right, Tomas. It must go on. The lesson must go on. <laughs> Good one, Tomas. That's right. We can't let a little internet, we can't let a little Technical difficulties stop us, can we, Tomas? We must go on. The lesson must go on. I like it. 
to Mas. I like it. I like it. It must go on. Sue wins. That's right, Lolly. <laughs> Sue wins. Yeah, not bench. Beach. I I put. I don't know. It's a typo. I just read it. Well, not bench. Beach. Beach. B e a c h. Not b e n c h. Beach. B e a c h. Beach. Sue won the race. Well, she they drew straws. So I don't know if you know that. So straw, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, Lolly. So a straw, you know a straw, right? So we we drink from right? So so a straw, you could drink from a straw, right? So draw straws. So draw straws. So you you have let's see, I have one pencil. Okay, okay. This this will work. So let's say these are straws, and they're different sizes, right? So this one is longer. Let's say okay. The silver one is longer, right? The white one and the silver. Okay. So this is longer. Right, so the person who draws the short straw loses. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this. I'm gonna go like that. You don't know. You don't know which one is shorter, right? You don't know because you can't see the bottom, right? So Joe's gonna go. Hmm, which one? Right. So Sue says, "Okay, let's draw straws." Okay, the shorter straw loses. Okay, so Joe goes, hmm, which one, which one, hmm. Okay, I'm going to choose this one. Okay, so this is Joe's straw, and then this is Sue's straw. And then, oh, Sue has the longer straw. Sue wins. So we say draw straws. So that's one way to do it. Ah, Helga. <laughs> they will all have things together, yeah. So if they're actually, where should they stay, right? Where are they? So they have one free night in a hotel. So where should they stay, right? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read it again, all right? Here we go. <clears throat> uh, you can drink from a straw. Yes, Lolly. So you can drink from a straw. That's right. Okay. Um, Sue has the longer straw. Sue wins. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read it again. Here we go. Joe is first. Sue, I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Wow. <clears throat> when can we use it? It's good till next month. Where can we stay? At any Holiday Inn. Let's do it. Where do you want to go? How about close to a beach? I think a nice mountain view would be nice. Let's draw straws. I have the short one. Looks like we're going to the mountains. <laughs> Sunny. Straw, straw hat, strawberry, yes. <laughs> uh, straw is also um, like wheat. Like um, a straw can be like, um, like a weed or, or a plant. Let's see, how many straw? Okay, we have straw for a plant. We have a straw for drinking. We have a straw hat, which is made from plants. So a straw hat is made from plants. A, a plant, and then of course strawberry. Let's see, um, straw, straw. I don't know other straws. <laughs> I can't think of other straws. Okay. Yes, Marion. Sue pulled the long straw. Good, good, good. Okay, what should we do? 
Are you ready for a question time? You want to do question time? What do you want to do? So I'm waiting for your answer in the chat. Are you ready for QT? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What shall we do? They can use, yeah, use matches, Helga. Yeah, anything. That's right, sticks. We just, that's just like, maybe that's kind of um, the original game. Straws, draw straws. Okay, good, Lolly. This sounds good. Good idea, Lolly. Lolly says, um, last time more slowly. Okay, good, good idea. Here we go. Okay, everyone, okay, good. Everyone's on the same page. Okay, say we tetsuro, good. Okay, so we, we are all on the same page. Here we go. Sue. So, I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Wow, when can we use it? It's good till next month. Where can we stay? At any Holiday Inn. Let's do it. Where do you want to go? How about, how about close to a beach? I think a nice mountain view would be nice. Let's draw straws. Ah, I have the short one. Looks like we're going to the mountains. <laughs> Poor Joe, yeah. Maybe I should make Joe win sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should have Joe win a few times, huh, Tomas? Okay, next time Joe's going to win. <laughs> okay, here we go. QT, we did question, or we did, we did step one. Okay, now step two, question time. <clears throat> Here we go. Four questions. Four questions. Question number one. What did Joe get? Question one. What did Joe get? What did Joe get? Question number one. What did Joe get? What did Joe get? Oh, Lolly, one. He got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Tetsuro, he got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Alice, Joe got a coupon. So it, it, he, he, he received it, right? He received it, so he got it. Helga, Joe got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Good. Dora, Joe got a coupon. Marion. A coupon for a free night at a hotel. Tomas, he got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Dark Kitten, he got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Very good. Nice. Okay. Seibu, he has a coupon for a free night. Wait, wait. Okay, Seibu, he has a coupon for a free night at a hotel. At a hotel. Seibu, he... He has a coupon for a free night, for a, for a free night at a hotel. For a free night at a hotel. Okay, Lottie got, yes, he got, because it's in his hands, right? Look what I got, right? Look what I got, a free coupon, look what I got. 
Mary says he got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Perfect. Dr. Ramirez, he got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, good. I can't read your name. It is Russian or Ukrainian. I can't read it. Sorry. Sebu, at a hotel. Yeah, Sebu. Okay, good, good. Question number two. Question number two. When does the coupon need to be used by? When does the coupon need to be used by? When does the coupon need to be used by? Alice says, Joe got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Very good. Question two. When does the coupon need to be used by? Ah, oh, so these, some of these names are Tajik, Taj, Tajikistan, Tajikistan. Oh, I need you to, I need you to tell me how to pronounce Tajik, Tajik, Tazirkan. Oh, I'm, I'm just destroying the name. I'm, Destroying the name. Okay, Lolly, by next month. Yes. It's good till next month. Good, Helga. Till next month. I know your country. I know your country. I, I'm not, for, I can't, right now, I can't remember the pronunciation. I'm so sorry. Dark Kitten, by the next month. Yeah. Tomas, till next month. Sebu, next month. Well, till next month. Okay, Sebu? W when does the coupon need to be used by? So when is the limit? So when, when does Joe and Sue need to use it? When's the last, like the end, until they can use it, right? W so until or till or buy yes yes okay good tomas thank you for that tomas says till or buy is the same in this case yes so the the end so you have to use it by this time or until this time okay dora it's good for the next month okay it's good it's better say till the next month right because after this is next month okay so this is december so right now we're in november okay so here's december and then here is january okay so you after after december it's no good you can't use the coupon but you can use it until december the end of december okay till till the end of december after december it's no good. You can't use it. It needs to be used by, till, until. Yes, Helga. Thank you. Okay, yes. Yeah, straw house. That's right. So, Mrs. G, um, the fable, the three little pigs. Um, right. So, the first house was made of straw. Thank you for that. So, so very weak. It's made from um, um, plants, right? The, the stem, the, the stock, actually, the stock of wheat. I think it's wheat stock is straw. So the wheat plant, so let me do this real quick. So straw, yeah, so, so here's wheat. So here's wheat, a and then, right, this is, this is wheat. And so this is the stem or the stock, I should say, stock. And this, when it's dry, it becomes, it becomes straw. When it's dry, it becomes straw. And so you can make, and it's hollow, right? So you could, you could actually, maybe you can drink from it. You can make a hat from it. You can make um, many things. Here in Japan, they use um, 
wheat stalks, like the old days, to make roofs. So the, the, the rice stalk used to be made, um, they used to make houses from that. Yeah, thank you for that, Mrs. G. Okay. Okay, so, right. So when does the coupon need to be used by? The end of next month. Till, till the end of next month. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, question number three. Number three. What hotel must they stay at? Question three. What hotel must they stay at? What hotel must they stay at? Question number three. What hotel must they stay at? Mm. Thank you. Thank you. You like my shirt? I like it too. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. Today here in Japan, it's pretty warm actually. It's surprisingly warm. We're like, it should be cold, but... Today's a strange, well, yesterday was warm too, and it's, and it's humid. It's almost like it's summer. It's weird. And so um, normally I'd have like a, a turtleneck under this, right? Because a t-shirt and this, I would be cold normally, but today it's warm. So, so I'm wearing a t-shirt and this shirt because it's, it's light. It's made 100% cotton, and... It's very comfortable and light. So, yeah, I like this shirt. Thank you so much. Jordanos, thank you. Okay, back to question number three. Lolly's on the board at any Holiday Inn. <laughs> thank you, Lolly. Helga, they can stay at any Holiday Inn. Tetsuro, at any Holiday Inn. Marion, the, at the Holiday Inn Hotel. Good, Marion, at... At Dr. Ramirez at Holiday Inn, yes. Mary, Holiday Inn, yes. Tomas, all, all of any, okay. So, okay, Tomas, Holiday Inn is a, is a chain hotel, meaning there are many Holiday Inn hotels like Marriott or another chain hotel would be, uh, what, uh, like the, the Ritz Carlton, the Marriott is a, is a holiday or is a hotel chain. The Hilton is a, is a hotel chain, meaning they have many hotels around the world or many, many locations. So Holiday Inn is a hotel chain. It's kind of a budget, right? Where expensive hotels you have, for example, the um, Hilton hotels are expensive, right? Those are luxurious, right? Those are high-end, five-star hotels. Holiday inns are lower. <laughs> Those are like a two-star or something, right? And like family hotel, or right? Family families can afford uh, holiday inns, right? So, so any holiday inn. So any one you can choose any holiday inn. Okay, good, good. Yeah, okay, Sewu. At any Holiday Inn, good. Okay, uh, Mary, at a Holiday Inn. At a, Mary, at a Holiday Inn. Okay, good, good. Okay, your Donos, your Donos. At, at the Holiday Inn. Okay, good, good. Yeah, in. So, like a hotel, we in would be I N N. Good. Marion, at any Holiday Inn hotel. Okay, Mary, at, at a Holiday Inn. You could say that, at a Holiday Inn. At any Holiday Inn. Good, good. Okay, at any hotels in Holiday Inn, Alice. Holiday Inn. Yeah, Alice, at any Sheraton Inn. Well, actually, Sheraton, they don't, their name is actually Sheraton Hotels. So Sheraton, they don't say inn. Inn, kind of, our impression is small, right? So, so uh, uh, 
it used to be like um, in back in the old days, like if you read Shakespeare, if you read like the old, old um, literature, it was like, oh, let's stay at the inn. So that would be like a room to rent or like a, a small house, right? Maybe like a and b The original hotels were like B&Bs, right? Like uh, someone's house or something small. So those were inns, I-N-N. So, and then the hotel starts saying, okay, they use that name in to make it like feel comfortable, make it feel, oh, this is a small little hotel. So like Holiday Inn's kind of a, a small chain. So they, their name is Holiday Inn. So that they decided. So if you see a Holiday Inn hotel, the name, the, the, the sign says Holiday Inn. So that's the name of their hotel. That's the name of their company. But Sheraton, they don't do that. They, that's not part of their name. So if you go to a Sheraton, it'll just say Sheraton Hotel or something. They're just Sheraton. They don't use Sheraton Inn. So you would never see um, Sheraton Inn. You wouldn't see that. That's not the name of their, of their company. Hostel, no, no, no. Hostel is a different type of hotel um uh, and a hostel is like like cheap and they're each room like a room does not have like like a host a youth hostel you just has like a bed no bathroom no uh, no shower no toilet so those so people like use those together. Those would be like almost like a dormitory. So, so a hostel has like a bed and then a separate room is the bathroom. A separate or a separate location, I should say. Separate place, like, like in the building but not in the room. Like if you go to a hotel, right, you have a bed, you have a bathroom, you have a shower, a bath, right, all in your room, right? A hostel doesn't it it's just a bed and then if you want to go to the bathroom you have to go to a different room if you want to use the shower you have to go to a different room and usually the shower everyone uses them together the bathroom everyone uses together and so it's cheap yeah it's like a guest house good good or no in is a guest house yeah yeah so maybe rita is not here today but rita maybe she has a guest house, an inn. So maybe Rita's hotel is more like an inn. That's what my feeling is when I talk to Rita. Sometimes on um, Zoom, I can see Rita where she's where she is, and I think of that as an inn. So Rita has an inn. Okay, here we go. Question number four. Here we go. Number four. Question number four. Are they staying close to the beach? or with a mountain view? Question number four. Are they staying close to the beach or with a mountain view? Oh, the Plaza Hotel. That's New York City, huh, Helga? Expensive hotel, Helga. Very expensive. I don't know how expensive because I could never afford Plaza Hotel. I've never been to the Plaza Hotel. <laughs> never. Okay. Question number four. Are they staying close to the beach or with a mountain view? 40K. What's that, Lolly? 40K. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What what's um forty K Lolly? Ah, uh, okay, Lolly's on the board. They're staying with a mountain view. Yes. Helga, looks like they are going to the mountains. Yeah, because Sue won, right? And that is Sue's choice. Right? Sue that's her, her choice. Yeah, Tetsuro. 
So where are they going to stay, Tetsuro? Where, where are they going? So are they staying close to the beach or with a mountain view? Sewu, they are staying with a mountain view. Yes, good, good answer, Sewu. Perfect. Yes, Sewu. Tomas, they will stay. They will stay in a hotel with a mountain view. Or they will stay where there is a mountain view. That's a good sentence. Um, they will stay where there is a mountain view. They will stay where there is a mountain view. Dr. Ramirez, they are staying. Okay. Um, okay, Jordano. Can I say they are about to stay in the... Um, about, well, we don't know. About to means soon, right? But we don't know when they're going, okay? Well, we, we know they have to go until the end of next month, but it's better to say, um, let's see. I'm, I'm looking, okay, okay, you're done. So it's better to say, they will stay at a place with a mountain view. They will stay at a hotel with a mountain view. Okay, you're done. They will stay at a hotel with a mountain view. They will stay at a hotel with a mountain view. Dora, they, they will stay in, the, in a hotel close to a mountain view. Okay, good, good. Dora, they will stay in a hotel close to a mountain view. Or with a, with a mountain view is better. With a mountain view. Marion, looks like they are going to the mountains. Sue won the race. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, nice. So we did the questions. Yeah. We did the questions. Okay, now let's go. Let's read it together, shall we? Let's read it together. I'm going to move my computer or pull this down so I can get to the camera. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hold hold it up. Dean Dro, hello. Okay, here we go. Let's read it together. Okay, here we go. Joe is first. Sue, I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Wow, when can we use it? It's good till next month. Where can we stay? At any Holiday Inn. Let's do it. Where do you want to go? How about close to a beach? I think a nice mountain view would be nice. Let's draw straws. I have the short one. Looks like we're going to the mountains. <laughs> okay, one more time. Okay, here we go. Sue, I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Wow, when can we use it? It's good till next month. Where can we stay? At any Holiday Inn. Let's do it. Where do you want to go? How about close to a beach? I think... A nice mountain view would be nice. Let's draw straws. I have the short one. Looks like we're going to the mountains. Yes, they're going to the mountains. <laughs> Joe lost. Joe's preference was the beach, and Sue's preference was the mountains. She wants a mountain view. Joe wants to be close to the beach. Sue wants a mountain view. So Sue got the long straw. She won. So they will stay close to a mountain. They will stay at a place with a view of the mountains. Okay, good, good. That's another one, Sewu. Much easier. Rock, scissors, paper. Okay, let's do rock, scissors, paper. Okay, Sewu? Everyone, okay? So be honest. Don't cheat. So let's do rock, scissors, paper. 
And you know the rules? Okay, rock. Okay, rock. Here's scissors. Rock um, beats scissors. Okay? Scissors beats paper. And paper beats rock. Okay, so one more time. <clears throat> rock beats scissors. Scissors beats paper. And paper beats rock. All right? So let's do rock, scissors, paper. And if you want, okay, and you say you, what you have. If you have scissors, you put scissors. If you have rock, you have rock. You say rock. If you have paper, you say paper, okay? So let's do it. So we go rock, scissors, paper, one, two, and then I'm going to, then we go paper, scissors, or rock, okay? So you ready? Let's do it. <coughs> let's do rock, scissors, paper. Here we go. Say we're a good idea. Here we go. Rock, scissors, paper, one, two, three. Okay, did you win or lose or tie? What I have... Scissors, did you win or lose? Oh, scissor or rock beat scissors. Lolly beat me. She won. Lolly won. Because rock beats scissors. What did did you win or lose? Or tie? Oh, Alice has paper. I beat Alice. I cut Alice. So I beat Oh, Seiru has rock, she won. Mrs. G has rock, she won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Radu lost. Radu has paper. Oh, Lolly, rock. Um, R O C K. Oh, Alice won. Tetsuro won. Helga, really? Are you serious? You guys aren't cheating. Wow, everyone, you guys are cheating. Cheaters, cheaters. I don't believe you. Okay, look, one more time. Don't be honest. No cheating. Okay, let's do it one more time. I think you guys were cheating. There's too many winners. <laughs> okay, one more time. I want, I want revenge. This is Mark's revenge, not Lolly's revenge. This is Mark's revenge. Okay, here we go. One more time. Now, no cheating, everyone. Okay, here we go. Rock. Now, be honest. Honesty is the best policy. Okay. Good karma. If you're honest, you will have good karma. Okay, here we go. Rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three. Okay. I have paper. Did you win? Did you lose? Did you tie? That's right, Lai. This is Mark's revenge. Oh, you... Lolly won again. Scissors. <laughs> Are you honest, really? S okay. Oh, say we tie. So we're tie. So we both have paper. Okay. Ah, oh, I won. Miss G lost. Oh, Helga won. Ah, uh, Tetsuro lost. Dark kitten tie. Tetsuro, yes, you lost. Ah, uh, Dr. Amaris, you lost. Rock. Paper, we tie. Okay, Tomas, they hid you. Okay, Tomas had scissors. You won. Paper, tie, tie. Scissors, won. Yeah, okay. Tie, won. Okay. Good job. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, good. That was fun. Sewu, thank you for that. Sewu, um, good idea. That was fun, Sewu. Thank you for your idea. Yeah. So we do, um, so here, draw straws, right? That's a little complicated, right? Because you need, you know, you need to get things, right? And you have to, like, cover. So that's a little complicated. Roxer's paper is very easy, right? Very quick. And another thing is we flip a coin. I don't have a coin, but we will, sometimes we will flip a coin, right? So, so the coin, say, <laughs> say, well, it's your birthday. You're, you're, say, well. 
It's your birthday. You, you, you're the one who gets the present, not me. Say, well, it's your birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're awesome, Sewu. You're a giver. Good karma, Sewu. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind support, Sewu. Thank you. Sewu. Okay, so um, I don't have a coin, but we, we flip a coin, right? So you put a coin and you, you flip it, right? And, and it, it, it rolls, it tosses in the air. And then you catch it, and you put on, and you go, okay, heads or tails? So heads, so th like the coin, and there's maybe like a president's head, right? So somebody, right? So someone's head, right? So the heads, and then tails, the other side. So maybe there's like, um, you know, there's like, like a leaf. Right, so, so heads and tails. So maybe this has the, you know, the, the amount. So, so you flip it, you flip a coin, and you, first you say, okay, heads or tails? And so you go, okay, heads, and so you put, you flip it up, and then you, you, and then you show the coin, and which side, which side of the coin, right? So if you said heads, and the, the person's face or head, I'd say, okay, you're the winner. If it's tails, like the, the opposite side, maybe it has, you know, a, a statue, it has a building, it has a flower, it has a number, and then if that side is showing, then it's tails, okay? So that's another. So those are the three things, right? Draw straws, rock, scissors, paper, and flip a coin. Thank you, Lolly, for Miss Peanut. Okay, Miss Peanut, I will buy her a toy for you, okay? So then I will get a toy, a cat toy for Peanut from Lolly. And, and I will tell you what it is, okay? So um, the next time I go to the, um, what is it, the pet shop? Next time I go to the pet shop, I will get Peanut, Miss Peanut, a toy, and I will say, Miss Peanut, this is from Lolly to you. This is from Lolly to you. <laughs> thank you. And Miss Peanut says thank you. Actually, it's for Miss Peanut, so Miss Peanut says thank you. Okay, Lolly, thanks so much for your, and Sewu, and of course, Miss G, thank you. Mwah. Okay, let's do shadowing time now, shadowing time. So, um, yeah, we're right here. So we did the reading, and now it's time for the shadowing. Okay, let's do it. So this is when we're speaking. This is speaking practice. Here's Joe and Sue. Joe is first. Here we go. So we're going to say this together three times. Here we go. Sue, I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. I got a free night. No, 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 no. Stop. I skipped coupon. Okay. I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Wow. When can we use it? Wow, when can we use it? Wow, when can we use it? It's good till next month. It's good till next month. It's good till next month. Where can we stay? Where can we stay? Where can we stay? At any Holiday Inn. At any Holiday Inn. At any Holiday Inn. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Where do you want to go? 
Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? How about close to a beach? How about close to a beach? How about close to a beach? I think a nice mountain view would be nice. I think a nice mountain view would be nice. I think a nice mountain view would be nice. I think a nice mountain view would be nice. Let's draw straws. Let's draw straws. Let's draw straws. I have the short one. Oh, I have the short one. I have the short one. Looks like we're going to the mountains. Looks like we are going to the mountains. Looks like we are going to the mountains. <laughs> okay, let's, let's look at it one more time. No, no, heads or tails. Tails. So head or tail. Marion, tail. Like a dog's tail or a cat's tail, right? Heads or tails. Or actually, it might be like butt, your tail. So heads or tails, heads or tails. Okay, here we go. Let's look at it one more time. Yes, Lolly's very generous. You are too, Sewu. All of you guys, this is, I'm so lucky you're here with me. I really am. Okay, let's look at this one more time. Sue, I got a coupon for a free night at a hotel. Wow, when can we use it? It's good till next month. Where can we stay? At any Holiday Inn. Let's do it. Where do you want to go? How about close to a beach? I think a nice mountain view would be nice. Let's draw straws. Ah, uh, I have the short one. Looks like we're going to the mountains. Yes, we're going to the mountains. <laughs> okay, well, today was interesting. We had, this is, we, this is the reconnection, right? So we had a, a, a live stream class earlier. There was technical difficulties. I stopped it. Then... I, re, I, I reset my internet connection and we reconnected with um, finishing up today's live stream class. So this is like two separate videos, but one lesson. So um, you guys came back with me. I really appreciate that. Also, I really appreciate Mrs. G's kind support. Sewu's kind support, and it's Sewu's birthday. She's helping me, and it's her birthday. Fantastic. Mwah. Love you, Sewu. Happy birthday, and um, it's your day today. Have a great day. And, of course, Lolly, thank you. Mwah. And Lolly, her, her, um, her sticker was for Miss Peanut, which is my cat. So with, with Lolly's donation, I will buy Peanut a toy. So a toy from Peanut, or no, from Lolly to Peanut. A toy from Lolly to Peanut, my cat. So thank you all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, green team. You guys are super, super nice. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are great supporters. I really appreciate it. Again, tomorrow for the standard and above members, we're having a, um, a live stream only for you. And on Sunday... At 9 p.m., we're having a Zoom meeting for, again, for the standard and above members because they give more, so I give more content, right? So thank you, and hope, hopefully I will see you on Saturday and Sunday. Go to my um, webpage, my YouTube um, homepage, my YouTube homepage, and go to the community tab to get those links to the live stream and the zoom meeting okay so i hope to see you this weekend tomorrow and sunday tomorrow and sunday um yeah so lolly 
cat is diamond and my cat is peanut. So they should be friends. Yeah. <laughs> Tetro, thank you so much. And thank you for, for hanging out. And thank you for, for enduring this with me. Okay. Thank you for enduring the technical pro problems, the technical difficulties and coming back. So really, really appreciate it. And it's time to say goodbye. So let's count down together. Okay. Let's do it. Let's count down together. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bye. I will see you on Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday, November 24th. Okay, bye-bye.